Okay, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, we are now live on Periscope from the Police Twitter Awards of 2016. Um, when I thought I was broadcasting at eight o'clock, actually I wasn't broadcasting to anybody. It's always the case with live video. So a very warm welcome. Thank you very much for your patience. My name's Kerry Blakeman and this is a Periscope broadcast in relation to the Police Twitter Awards of 2016. Now the Police Twitter Awards were launched in 2011 by Mike Kenworthy and that's at Kenworthy39 on Twitter. Mike is a member of the public and myself, Superintendent Dennis Murray and Mike Panett are supporting Mike in promoting the Police Twitter Awards. We're delighted that everybody has received the idea behind the Police Twitter Awards so well and we're delighted that it's been endorsed by Twitter and also supported by Chief Constable Ian Hopkins from Greater Manchester Police who's the National Police Lead for Social Media. So voting and nominations opened in, uh, on the 1st of July 2016 and nominations close on the 31st of August uh, 2016. We have been overwhelmed with the amount of nominations and votes that we've received and up until 7pm tonight we'd actually received 2,219 nominations which I'm sure you will agree is a fantastic response and we're hoping after tonight's announcement that number of nominations will grow significantly. So there are 16 categories in which you can vote and we've already stated on the website that in October of this year we will announce three finalists from each of those 16 categories and in December 2016 we will then announce the winner of each category. Now yesterday we gave you some more news and that is that we have decided to have an overall winner for the Police Twitter Awards 2016 and there is a specific reason for that. So here we go, um, we've teased you lots and this is the big, this is the big news and I'm sure you will agree, it, it is fantastic. Thanks to Raw Cut TV and Police Oracle, we have an amazing prize for the overall winner of the Police Twitter Awards 2016. We will fly yes, fly, the winner of the Police Twitter Awards 2016 out to Long Beach, California in April 2017 where that winner will be a guest speaker at the Social Media Internet Law Enforcement Conference which is hosted by Laws Communication and the Chief of Police from Long Beach Police Department. So let me just say that again, we will fly the overall winner of the Police 2016 Twitter Awards out to Long Beach, California, where they'll spend four days at the Social Media Internet Law Enforcement Conference and they will be a guest speaker. This amazing prize is brought to you thanks to the generosity of policeoracle.com and Rawcut TV. I'm sure you will agree it is a superb prize and it's a great opportunity for somebody, the overall winner, to represent the UK police at the Twitter, at the, uh, the Social Media Conference. So the question is, how do you vote? Well, you've been voting in your droves. You can vote on Twitter at Police Awards. Make sure you tell us the category, the name of the person that you're voting for and include hashtag POLT Awards. You can leave us say, a message on our uh, Facebook site or alternatively, you can email your nomination.com. So please spread the word about this amazing uh, prize. If you've been nominated on Twitter, you need to block those dates out. April 2017, the 3rd to the 6th of April, Long Beach, California. Fantastic venue, fantastic destination. So please make sure you get voting. I'll be online on the Police Awards account now for the next 20 minutes, half an hour. So if you've got any questions, please let us know. Thanks very much for tuning in and thanks for your patience at the beginning of the broadcast. I thought I was broadcasting at 8 o'clock. Clearly I wasn't. Thanks very much.